In this video series, you're going to learn to install and set up WordPress. The first thing you need to do is go to wordpress.org and find the latest version and then click on it and download the file. You should download it in zip format. Once you have it downloaded, you should unzip it. You should have a hosting account already set up and a domain name purchased to go with that hosting account. So let's go over the process of uploading the file to our server. When you signed up for your hosting account, they will have emailed you a user ID and password to access your FTP. And if you have a cPanel, you can also access it with that. I recommend that you do have cPanel hosting. It makes things a little easier. We're going to go over a couple things in the cPanel to get our blog installed. But the first thing we need to do is have a look at File Manager. When you click on File Manager, you can go in and see what files you have on your server. In this particular server, everything is stored in public underscore HTML that's available to view on the web. Yours may be like that, or it may have another folder name, or even be in the main directory here. Your web host will tell you where that is if you don't know. If we click the little file folder over here, we can see the current files on this site. Now, if you wanted to install your WordPress blog in the root directory so that when your domain name was typed in, your blog came up right away, then you would need to install all your files right inside public HTML. If you want to install it in a subfolder, in other words, you type in your domain name, slash, and then a folder name. So for instance, we might have your domain.com slash blog. Then you could create a directory called blog. With File Manager, you can upload files just by clicking Upload Files, and then you can browse for them on your computer. If you're going to use a subdirectory, like slash blog or whatever you want to call it, you can upload your file directly. Just upload the zip file. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll upload, and we just browse our computer, and then we find the file on our computer. There it is, WordPress 2.5.zip. So we can upload this. And that'll take a minute to upload. Once it's uploaded, your main screen comes back. And then you can find it in your file list. And there it is, WordPress 2.5.zip. So we click on that. And then on the right side, it says Extract File Contents. So we do that. And it extracts everything for us. And then we'll just go ahead and delete this zip file. Just click on it again and click Delete File. Now if we look in here, we have a WordPress directory. That's the one we just unzipped. Now you can just rename this to whatever directory you wanted your blog in. So I'm just going to rename it to blog. Now if we go inside blog, you'll see here are all of our WordPress files in here. So that's how you can get things ready if you're using a subdirectory. If you're not, you're going to have to unzip it and upload them using an FTP program, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. We're going to use a FTP client called Smart FTP. Smart FTP is free for individual use, otherwise you have to register it. Now what you want to do is first you want to go into file and do a new local browser. Then you can find the folder you want on your own computer. Next, you want to go and do a new remote browser. Now this is where you're going to key in the name of your server and then the username and password that you were given by your host. Once you've done that, just click OK and you'll see that your server pops up over on the left. Now we have our server on the left side and we have our computer on the right side. Now to upload our files, all we have to do is find the files we want to upload. So we'll go inside WordPress and then we want to upload everything in here. 
So what we can do is do a select all here just by hitting control and holding down the control key and then clicking A. And then hold your control key down and then put your mouse on top here, push the left mouse button and then drag it down into this bottom part here where the queue is and let go. Now if we click on transfer queue you'll see that all of our files are over here. Now what you need to do is go to your server side and decide where you want it. So if we want it in the root directory, we would just click on public underscore HTML. And then we could just drag these files up there. Now what we need to do over here is make sure that we have the folder view pane on like this. So you have your server showing on this side and the files over inside here. For instance, if we were to click on here then we'll see all the files underneath that. If we click on public HTML we see all the files and folders underneath that over here and then if we go even further in and we click on blog we'll see everything inside blog over here. Now we're going to re-upload all of these into blog but I just wanted to demonstrate if you wanted to upload it into public HTML all you would have to do is click on public HTML and then select one of these over here and then click control hold that down and click A and it will select everything here then all you have to do is hold your left mouse button down again and then drag everything up to where you want it uploaded now I'm going to put it inside blog for the purpose of this demonstration so I'll just drag it up and let go once it's up there and if you look at the transfer queue you'll see that files are now being uploaded for us into the blog directory as you can see here. And that's all there is to uploading files. Our files are now uploading to the server. Now we're going to go and create our database and install WordPress.